Across this bridge, we see on our right a very large, ugly place. It is the Neo Samga Rude Boy Mansion, decorated with orange. Well, it looks like it looks like my skin, to be honest. These orange things, kind of. If I if I like stand next to it, and then it's got my eyes. I don't know, my eyes are inversed. But it's kind of like it. <laughs> There's another one over here. It's a strange design. This is the sort of artwork that some guy does. Alright, now. This has been decorated poorly, I have to say. He's combined bricks with sandstone, with planks, with wall, with stone bricks. However, it has been fully furnished. We have empty chests. Because he doesn't live here. We have an approximately 75-inch television with two buttons, or three buttons actually. The sofas don't actually point towards it, and there's the Ingram flag on the Ingram flag on the floor. Kind of. It's a bit. Well, I don't know what that is. <laughs> uh, we have some shelves in the hall area. Ruche is talking to himself. This is a very large table, which leads on to the kitchen. It's a nice kitchen. It's got pro it's got maybe every block there is in the game in here. It's a bit a bit hurtful on the eyes, but it's a fully modern place to cook bacon. Right here, we have an enchanting area, properly done this time. Some guy likes to put his bookcases two blocks away from the table normally. Which of course doesn't work. How this? <laughs> this is a bedroom which has eight beds in it. Now I'm sorry, but not many mansions would have such a room. Who would want to share a room if you lived in a mansion with seven other people? Now this room is a skeleton room. <laughs> Give me it. It's a... I don't know really. It's an anvil room? It hasn't really got a purpose, but it does lead up to a... You can't actually get up here. Broken. <laughs> it leads to... I suppose it's the attic. Yeah, it's got some gold. That's why you keep gold in the attic. Some old furniture, which looks better than the furniture downstairs. Coal, some guy's favourite resource. That would have to be up here. It's the first attic I've seen that's made of stone. It's got diamonds as well. And redstone. This pla the attic is more... has more value than the rest of the house. Who would have thought? Alright, let's get out of this dungeon-esque hellhole because there's another side of the house the skeleton escaped his room <laughs> and we reached the bathroom very nice bathroom very large shower capable of uh, a double showering session with your loved one maybe even a triple shower uh, a bathtub plenty of room for people don't get in there with me. Ugh. And a table. Because, you know, rich people need tables in their bathrooms. <laughs> oh boy. And here we have the master bedroom, which... Oh god, he's, he's still doing this stupid slab idea. With the stupid blocks of beds. <sighs> it's the master bedroom. It's quite nice. It makes more sense than the other bedroom. <laughs> Right, let's get out of here. Uh, I think this place has a garden. Yes, over here. Oh, it's got a conservatory. Didn't know about that. Oh, it's got a swimming pool. Ah, oh, this is not this. It's got a bigger swimming pool than the public swimming pool down the road. I mean, that's just that's just awesome. It's got some nice deck chairs with my umbrella design. Got a football 
<laughs> a football goal. Just one. Many many balls sail over into the grief the lands behind. What the flipping hell is that thing? Uh yeah, wheat. That's for the That's for the farmer in, in the mansion. There's a nice barbecue area. Very large. So when we get the whole family over. The Roo Boys, as the mansion says. Continue, Dan. We have some grass here that won't grow. 